Walmart shops are hugely popular on Etsy and have the potential to create a full-time income if you have the right strategy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find low competition niches for clip art and how to create them. Like the sublimation shop that I run, clip art shops have the ability to scale infinitely because of the variety of different products that they can be placed on. Just to name a few, they use them for things like printable and digital planners, journals, junk journals, invitations such as party invitations or wedding invitations and shower invitations and they want them in every and any niche possible. So from bumblebee designs to fairy tale castle designs to boho floral designs, as well as every type of season and holiday in between. They can also be created in many different styles as well, such as a kawaii style or a watercolor style or minimalist style and um, abstract and um, boho, just to name a few different ones. So the first step in this process is to identify low competition keywords within the clip art niche. So I am over in E-Rank, which is just a keyword research tool, and I typed in the phrase clip art into the search bar up here and hit enter. The results will be all displayed down here and as you can see there are hundreds and hundreds of different types of specific keywords for clip art. Um, usually I recommend going after everything being green across the board meaning you have a and a low amount of competition. So I know that there are a lot of results here that are in the red, meaning that there are only a few hundred results. But what I want you to look at is on the competition side of the results showing extremely, extremely low competition results. So some of these only have, you know, 32 different results. Um, the other ones have less than a hundred or around a hundred, but as a whole, everything is very green, um, which is something to say. As far as um, being able to get a shop up to multiple four figures, you would just need um, a small handful of these making four to five hundred dollars a month which when I did the um, math and used the Everbee extension um, to see the product revenue most of the listings on the first page for all of these different types of keywords were ranging anywhere from four hundred to five hundred dollars per month so for this example I'm going to go ahead and use the keyword pastel Halloween clip art just because it does have a pretty high search and this will go up as we get closer to Halloween and it still had a very low competition score. So my next step is to hop back over to Etsy and type in this specific keyword and see what the results are as far as the type of style and how these are being sold. So obviously it is very specific as the type of um, Halloween clip art we want, which is pastel. So it needs to be light colored and kind of themed toward the pastel goth aesthetic if you are familiar with that at all. It looks like um, there are more um, like cartoony type ones. There are watercolor styles. There are sets that are only being sold in three. There are sets that are being sold in a group of or a pack of 20. Um, and for the most part, it looks like they're all bundled together in a specific theme. After going through the results, I think I want to go ahead and create a watercolor fantasy type style uh, for my clip art set. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to Mid Journey 
and the prompt that I am using is spooky Halloween and then in the little curly brackets I'm going to put in all of my subjects all at once so that I don't have to put this in individually and I'm actually backing up just for a moment you'll want to nail down your prompt um, in the version that you want it created in first before you get all of your subjects in there just because I found that when I switched from version 5.2 to version 5.1 to version 4 I got very different results and I didn't want something like this um, or even this style or this style um, I preferred something that was more watercolory and more pastel. So the style for uh, or the version that I ended up going with is version 5.1. So do just make sure you test it out a few times once you get your prompt with the different versions so you can see the different types of results that are out there. So back to the prompt. I have spooky Halloween pumpkin, black cat, witch potion broom cauldron spider web haunted house grave headstone skull scarecrow candle bat moth raven ghost and a stack of books and then i have in the style of light pink and light magenta and blue with detailed shading watercolors ornate detailed character design light blue and crimson enchanting lighting pastel halloween on a white background so it did take me a few tries to get all of these words in here describing exactly what I wanted, um, but now that I have it all together, I just have to go ahead and hit yes, and then these will start. Okay, so now that all of those have generated, I'm going to go through and upscale by clicking on U1 or U2, depending on what position that I want to choose the different styles in each group so that I can download them. And the next step is to go ahead and download them all. So now that I have them all downloaded, the next step is to go ahead and upscale them and remove the background on them. While you can leave them with a white background, I have found that most of my customers uh, prefer them with a transparent background. So for the purposes of this video and to sell, I will go ahead and be removing the background. And to do this in bulk all at one time, I'm going to be using a tool called My Designs. And I know that many of you have heard of them. This is what I currently use them most for right now, though they do have many different things that you can do with their software. So I'm going to hop over to my designs and show you how to do that. So I'm in my designs right now and this is just the dashboard here and I'm going to click on listings and then I am going to add in all of the images that I downloaded by clicking on this upload button over here and then i'm going to go ahead and click all of these and hit enter and click upload all okay so once they have all finished uploading they will be displayed just like this and you'll want to make sure that the little blue box ne next to them is selected so that it will perform the next action so under the actions menu here, I'm going to upscale them first. So I just hit the down arrow and then I'm going to click on upscale image and then select the upscale, which is I'm going to upscale them by four times, which will um, have them ending up at about 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. And I just know this because I've created these before when they were just a square and they were about 1,000 by 1,000 when they come out of mid journey. And then upscaling them four times um, gets them to just under 5,000 by 5,000. So then I'm going to click upscale image and it's going to say you're going to upscale 22 images. It will cost you 44 credits and I will click continue. So now that they have finished, I'm going to click on actions again and click remove background. And for this, I am switching this 
to the new slot just so that it is grabbing the upscaled version and then putting it in a new slot, which I'm just going to call number three, and then click remove background. It will use credits again. So now that those have finished, and that took about a minute each, so a minute to upscale them and then a minute to transfer them to a transparent background. Um, you can see by the slot that it is showing a PNG or a image without the background here and that's how you know. Um, so just go ahead and leave them all selected. Click actions to download these as a zip and make sure you click new slot and deselect the default and then download zip. So now that I have all of these downloaded, it is time to mock them up in order to list them on Etsy. So I highly recommend that you look at all of the results for whatever it is that you're selling and make sure that your mock-up looks just as good as theirs, if not better, uh, because this is very important um, in order to increase conversions. You don't want a listing that has a bad first image, um, otherwise it's just not going to get clicked on at all. So what I can see is that most of them basically just have all of the little images laid out and then they actually write what type of clip art set it is and how many are included. And it looks like if they have um, any other specific instructions or details that they want to display, whether that is commercial use or the high resolution 300 DPI hand-drawn style. Uh, so just some important information that they think is necessary to be on there. So I'm in Canva to go ahead and mock these up and I already created my little logo, which is similar to some of the ones. I, some of them were just written here and then some of them actually had a little center piece logo. Here's a square one. So all I did was grab a logo template out of Canva and typed out what it was. I put my logo down here and then um, the sizing and just a little bit more information. It says 18. I actually ended up with 22 so they'll get a few more than what they expected which is always good. And then I'm going to add in all of my clip arts. So I've added in all of my clip art images into Canva and since most of them just kind of had them, some of them are overlaying each other, some are just spaced out in equal parts, I'm just going to add them uh, in a way that I think looks cute and then add the logo and save that. So I finally got all of them added in here and don't worry if they won't all fit because I did notice that a lot of the listings um, broke them out into further um, image listings where they were either displayed on particular types of products like this person did it on stickers as a t-shirt design or you could just use more lay them out in larger formats so that the customer can see them um, more closely. So what I've done is I did manage to fit all of them in here, though some of it might be a little bit covered up, but then I will add the ones that specifically are covered up in individual um, photos on the rest of the listing just so that they are all displayed. So then I'm adding my logo right here in the center so that everyone can see exactly what type of product this is and then just kind of rearranging everything so that it looks like it's all filled in and um, matching as best as possible and just because I'm a little extra I'm going to add a background just so it's not on a plain white background and we'll just bring in the listing um, kind of all together a little bit better. And I've just um, took down the transparency quite a bit just so it's not overpowering any of the designs. 
yet you can see that there's some texture in the background of the listing. So now I'm just going to go ahead and download this. And now this is ready to list on Etsy. So you would add this as your main photo um, image and then any additional images that you wanted to include as well as all of your information within the listing as well. The um, digital files will need to be added as a either Google Drive link or a Dropbox link just due to the amount of images that you will have um, will not all fit within the attachment um, part that is provided in Etsy. So hopefully this was helpful if you are running a clip art type shop or you want to start one and let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions and thanks for watching.